Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who is watching this video right now, wherever you are. I hope all of you are healthy and well during this COVID-19 pandemic. Always remember to abide by the health protocols given by the World Health Organization and your local government. First and foremost, let me introduce you myself. My name is Adi Iwono. I am currently an International Relations Communication student at LSPR Communication and Business Institute in Jakarta, Indonesia. I am also under the supervision of Mr. Charles Bonar Sirait as my mentor and lecturer for the subject of public speaking and presentation skills. In this video, I will be talking a little bit about the most crucial and controversial topic in our current era, which is climate change. So, what is climate change? The two words itself is pretty self-explanatory, climate and change, which in definition is a significant change in global or regional climate pattern largely caused by high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which are produced by the high use of fossil fuels made by humans. Naturally, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere helps regulate the temperature on Earth provided by the heat of the sun. However, when high levels of carbon dioxide are in the atmosphere, then most of the heat provided by the sun are trapped on Earth, causing global warming, or in other words, climate change. Climate change is a global issue that we as global citizens should be highly concerned of. Why? Because climate change threatens life on Earth as we know it. According to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, since the 1880s, the average global temperature has risen and the average temperature is now more than 2 degrees Fahrenheit above that of the late 19th century. The numbers may not seem much, but to provide you with a bigger picture, the heat from human emissions is roughly equal to 400,000 Hiroshima atomic bombs exploding across the planet every single day from 1880 until now. That being said, it is not only us that is in great danger, but also the future generations to come. If countries do not cooperate and human beings do not start taking actions, then we will all suffer harsh consequences. The earth will become warmer, causing severe climate disasters such as droughts, storms, melting of the polar ice, and much more. Surely events that will destabilize nations and human beings. Looking at the current conditions of how human beings are managing climate change, worst case scenarios are more evident. What I meant by worst case scenarios are domino effect events such as the collapse of food production which will cause extreme hunger and from extreme hunger, humans become more violent and thus prone to conflicts. Furthermore, situations around the world will become much more deteriorating due to the melting polar ice which will cause the sea levels to rise and eventually causing major cities, coastal areas, and island countries in the world to gradually sink. Speaking of the melting polar ice due to climate change, it is expected that once all polar ice melts, the sea level will rise between 80 to 160 feet. A great number. However, believe it or not, there are a group of people who benefit from climate change. These people favor in making large amount of money above all else. Who are they, you might ask? Well, according to the New York Times, they are mostly people from the oil and coal industries. Of course, in a problem, then there are a number of solutions. In the context of climate change, you can start taking immediate actions such as eating less meat, taking public transportations, taking less airplane trips, buying an electric car, and installing solar panel or a smart thermostat at home. These small but significant actions, if done by many, will contribute to the betterment of climate change. In other hand, what is really needed is for you to speak up and exercise your rights as a citizen, because strong, collective action through state and national policies is how we'll make the most impact. That is all for me. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.